welcome to my youtube channel so today i'm going to talk about data cleaning in python and i'm going to be using a jupyter notebook so uh, if you don't know how jupyter, jupyter notebook works you can leave the comment in the in the in the video so that i can know the need and create a video for it but if you're good uh let's get to data cleaning so basically we'll be talking about data cleaning basics in python uh, it will be a good start if you are new to Python and you are looking to learn data cleaning. I'm going to keep it very simple and uh, digestible for you. So uh, the first step which you are going to do, it is importing the necessary package. So we are going to import pandas as pd and import numpy as np. And then uh, the next thing it is uh, we are going to import our data into into Jupyter. So importing data. So first of all you will need to specify the the file path. So file path is equals to go to R and uh, my data my data is contained here. So here on this uh, tab you just click it once it will give you the file path control C then go here uh, control v and then what is remaining you put a slash and then the the name of the file which you want to import so what you shall go to get the exact uh, go here you go rename they go control c so that you can copy the exact name if you copy it wrong it will not go through so control c control v and it is a csv file now that we have our file path we can go we can go on to importing the 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 excel file so the excel file i'm going to call it df let me df and it's going to be pd pandas dot read underscore csv then in brackets you're going to have our file path okay. file path and then and then uh, we call our df to see it look over look at our data so and then control I mean shift enter and as this is our data at a glance you see we have a thousand rows and five columns and uh yes so this is the data we are going to clean i have uh, a link for the data in this description so that you can follow through yes so that is the first step you first of all uh, specify the file path and then you 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 use pandas to bring in the the excel file into into uh, Jupyter notebook for data cleaning. So after doing that, uh, first of all, like uh, what I like doing is just knowing what my data is all about. So I go df dot info. Like to see what I have in my data. Okay. So you can see the old ID is an integer. Distance is float. Yes, it's float. And uh, custom ID is an integer. Yeah, that's an integer. So, uh, uh, what a float means? A float means that it's a number with a, a decimal point, like this distance. It has a decimal point. Integers, it's a whole number. It doesn't have a decimal point. So basically, this is more on on data types. I'll create a video for it and I'll share with you so that you can also be conversant with this. Uh, so based on that, uh, the first thing which I like doing is check it, checking out for missing data. So, so we want to check for missing data. Missing data. So we, there's a simple function for that in Python. You go to df, which is the the name of our file which we specified here. DF and uh, go is NA and uh, brackets, then shift enter. 
the information which you get will not be be very useful to you at a glance. You have to like have a a keen look for you to know what it's all about. Like for you, see distance is true. There is an a, a there is a missing data here, and this one is false, missing meaning that uh, data is not missing. But this is hard work, so we can what you can do is modify this is a by click by adding sum so that you can give us the sum of null values in each column. So click dot sum, shift enter. Yes, so you can see the shipping distance has six null values. Okay. So how to deal with null values? Uh, so uh, basically you can fill in null values with the uh, number uh, Maybe if you want to fill it with uh, zero, for example. So uh, as you can see, this is this is, this is uh, our row with null values. I want you to keep a keen look at it since changes will be occurring here and we'll be able to understand more what each function does. So first of all, let us try to fill it with uh, zero. Fill in a, df dot fill in a, and we want to fill it with zero. Shift enter. Okay. Now you can see the null values. It it uh, it was filled with zero. They are just as uh, we had specified here. Uh, another way to deal with null values, you can choose it to fill it with the previous value, like eighty four. Eighty four now will be the null values. Let us let us do it together. Okay. Filling null values with the previous number, with previous value. Previous value. So what you just do is go df dot fill in a. Okay, and here a method we are going to specify as forward field. Let go. Shift enter. And you can see our null values here, which we had filled with zero. It's now 84. It was filled by the previous value before it, which is 84. We can also fill it with the value after it. Okay. So for this, it's just a bit the same. Uh, we can copy this, Control c Control v so filling it with the next value. Filling it with the next value, and uh, instead of F fill, forward fill, we can choose the uh, back fill, which is uh, B fill in short. So, and you can see that I the null value here, yeah, it was filled by the next value to it, which was 92. You can see? Yes, so uh, I hope uh, right now you know how to deal with null values. You can also choose to drop null values uh, using the drop and a, although that one, that one should be the last option, the last, last option. But uh, how you do it, how to drop null values, Okay, let me show you how to drop null values. Before dropping it, you have to make sure that you really don't need the data so that you don't lose valuable data. So how you do, just go df dot drop in a like that. And uh, yes, shift enter. And uh, yes, you see the, the null value which was two there it has been dropped this two, which we have used the uh, backfill here. Now we have dropped it, it's no longer in our data. So that's how to drop a null value. So uh, it is dealing with uh, duplicates, okay? Dealing with duplicates in your data. Dealing with duplicates. Duplicates. And then I forgot to mention uh, when you're writing a comment, you have to start with the hash so that uh, the 
so that Python can know this is just a comment, it's not a code. Because if you leave out the hash, Python is going to interpret it as a code, and when you write your code, it's going to bring errors. So make sure you start with hash so that Python can know this is a comment, it's not a code. First of all, we have to know like uh, how many how many unique values are in our are in our data. So do that with all df dot n unique. So shift enter, and you can see in our our price per item, we only have one unique values. Custom ID we have nine hundred and but seven unique rows and uh, shipping distance you have 100 unique there's a different way on how you can deal with uh, with 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 the, with the duplicates you can choose to drop the duplicates although uh, uh, dropping the duplicates should be the last last option in first of for example in price per item you can see there are a lot of duplicates which is 10 Oh, but uh, these duplicates that are, that are necessary, for, for example, you can, uh, you can at a glance, you can know that uh, this the price of this item is 10 and, and uh, it is standard, it's not changing. So this duplicate is necessary. But uh, you can also see, uh, yeah, so before deleting a duplicate, first of all, make sure that uh, it is... Uh, it is necessary in your data and they are not deleting valuable information. So, uh, how to drop duplicates? You can drop uh, rows, your uh, duplicated rows, without specifying, or you can specify a specific column to drop the duplicates. So, uh, in the case of in the case of dropping the duplicates rows, you go and dropping let it let us first of all explain what you're doing dropping duplicate rows so you go df which is uh, the name of a data frame or of the data which you brought in dot uh, drop underscore duplicate you Put bracket. Okay. So uh, as you can see, not much has been done. But uh, but uh, this is how you drop a duplicates rows. Putting duplicates in a specific column. Okay. So you go df dot drop duplicates. And in brackets, you put a subset is equals to, you write the name of the column in which you want to drop the duplicate. In, in my case, I want to drop the, the duplicate in the custom ID. So you can choose subset. custom id and uh, make sure you write the correct spelling if you write it wrong code will not run so shift enter you can see right now we had here uh, a thousand rows right now we have 947 rows which means you have dropped uh, we have dropped uh, some some duplicates in the custom id and if you if you also check when you started investigating for duplicates you see here we had in custom id we had 947 unique unique values and uh, after dropping the duplicates we have 947 rows so it means that uh, our the the program ran well and it worked and we dropped the the duplicates after doing that you, you can now you can now do some analysis like for example, I want to know the the amount the amount of price per quantity. So I want to create I want to create another column called amount called amount and it's going to be it's going to be price per item.
the item times df quantity to change it. So to enter and see you have a new column called amount which is basically price per item times quantity so after data cleaning like can be able to do as uh, stuff like this easily and uh yes so after that you can you can export your data uh, First of all, you need to specify the, the file path in which you are exposed to your uh, exporting your data. For me, I want to export it uh, just here. So, control C. Export your data. You first of all have to, to specify the file path. Like for me, I'm exporting it to here. That's so why I have clicked on this, uh, in this tab and I, it has given me the file path which I have, uh, which I have, uh, I have pasted it here. Uh, the next step, which is uh, naming your file. So uh, here I will name it uh, tutorial, tutorial cleaning. Okay, and it's going to be a CSV. Okay, so what is remaining it is just exporting it so df.2 underscore c sv in brackets want the file path and you sit you say index is equals to false index is equals to false capital f and after that, press it, enter. So, so I forgot to close here this bracket. You see, like a Python is very sensitive to this stuff. So I should enter. Yes, and our data has been exported. We can go and look at it here. You see, tutorial cleaning, the one which we are, we had just exported here to this folder. So basically guys, that is how you clean your data. And that is how you import and export it out of Jupyter Notebook. Mm -hmm. If you like the video, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and also share the video. Thank you so much and uh, have a nice day.